Sometimes it happens that we do treat our orchids properly and we get another bloom spike, especially with Phalaenopsis. Now, what I did the first time when I saw my first bloom spike evolve was to put an orchid pin on it straight away. And what this did was uh, it made a lot of scars on the spike and it almost um, cut it off because when it's very tiny, the flower spike is very, very tender. So, when you see a flower spike, don't use the pins right away. Try to find some uh, satin or a very soft material that you can actually pin it like this until it grows. When it gets big enough, it, it will get harder and you can put a pin. But when it's very soft, don't put a pin. You can actually damage it. So lesson learned. A very silly thing I did about uh, half a year ago was to try to pollinate my orchids. Now this is not a silly thing if you do want to propagate your orchids that way, but I did it totally wrong. What I did was to get all the staminas from the flowers out and to pollinate other orchids. But what I didn't know was that all the flowers would drop actually once their uh, staminas got taken away. And of course I didn't have any success for some reason, I'm not sure why, but if you do want to keep your flowers for a very long time and you don't really want to hassle with propagating, you just want to experiment, just do it on one, two flowers. Don't do it on all of them because you're going to lose them all. A very bad idea is to let water sit in the crown of an orchid like this for too much. Especially if the temperatures are low and especially at night when the temperatures do get lower than the day ones. Now what this does, it can um, increase the chances of crown rot. And once an orchid has crown rot, I think it's 99% dead already. Uh, very few cases of actual saved orchids from crown rot exist. So once you get crown rot, it's almost impossible to save it. If you see water like this standing because you just rewatered and it's morning and it's warm outside, then it's probably okay. But just in case, get a napkin and get this water out of the crown because it can lead to very, very harmful uh, effects on the, on the orchid. Very common with sun-loving orchids is to leave them too much in the sun. And I did this recently. I did it with my cat Lea and as you can see, it got a sunburn. And I recently discovered that another cat Lee I have has a small sunburn. So yeah, just be sure that your sun-loving plants are getting partial shade or very diffuse sun because they can actually get sunburned. And how this works is actually um, the leaf gets very, very hot and all the cells start to die. So make sure that you have a good ventilation, um, a low temperature, and somewhat partial sun when you do want to provide more light to your orchids. Okay, this is about it for this video. You don't have to feel bad if you're doing mistakes. We all did them, we were all noobs at some point. And uh, just by reading stuff, you don't really get a sense of how to really do stuff. You just have to get some experience. And uh, the bad stuff we do um, teach us for, for the future, so it's not such a bad thing. Just learn from your mistakes and everything will be okay. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos,